Hey guys, by popular demand on my Saturday live uh, Q&A, Jay asked about Pro Petro, P-U-M-P, -P, Pump is the ticker. He asked about them, I looked them over. Uh, this is very short and sweet, my thoughts about them. I think they were a great company when they're booming, but their website says everything you need to know about their operations and more importantly about how they make their money. There was uh, some articles about issues on their finances. I don't know, maybe getting sued. That's never a good thing. But the only thing more concerning than that is the drop in rig count. And then you go to the website and you really start diving into what they do. If they were service companies that worked on operating wells, it would be a different story. But these guys are exploration-based service companies. They do completions, things of that nature. So let's dive into what they do and kind of give you an idea of why they are extremely vulnerable. And if you're up on them, I would suggest possibly taking those profits. I'm not a... Financial advisor, CPA, accountant, attorney, anything like that. This is strictly my opinion. So take it as it is. But uh, if you follow me on stock twits, etc., I've been pretty well calling it right. But this is just my opinion. So we're here at their website. Let's look at what they do. Pressure pumping, hydraulic fracturing. That is EMP. Rig count for the United States dropped 60 plus rigs this week. Nobody is drilling. Typically, there's a lot more drilling going on than completions. Um, and if they're not drilling, you're not completing wells. So hydraulic fracturing, especially in the Permian Basin where they basically operate, that's coming to a standstill. Um, over the next 60 days, this part of their business will be almost non-existent in the Permian unless there is contractual obligations going on. Outside of that, nobody's drilling, nobody's completing. And thus, this is a problem area for them. That's one problem area. Go down to the next one, cementing. Again, this is drilling and completing. When you're putting in casing, things of that nature, you put cement in. Uh, seal off casing and again it is drilling and completing which is ceasing to exist in the Permian Basin. Guys if you can't tell already I'm, I'm pointing out a pretty significant pattern here that is should be alarming to you if you're in the stock now. All right acidizing again cleaning out holes uh, have possibly water in them you just want to clean out the perforations things of that nature again that is drilling and completing wells which is dying off in the permian basin guys i know this sounds kind of redundant but i, I think it's important to understand what pro petro aka pump stock ticker does and this is why this is not a good place to be for a downturn in the market. Companies can't make money at these prices. The uh, OPEC deal that was just signed a couple hours ago is only going to take out maybe 15 million barrels a day. There's still another 15 million barrels of oversupply going on. Prices are going to pop, but they are not going to pop good enough to bring these guys back to life. So again, acidizing is drilling completions it's not going to work for them coil tubing more of the same uh, coil tubing is one long tube of steel basically and it's really good for drilling out frack plugs things of that nature again drill and completion for which is stopping flow back when you complete a well You'll get a lot of flow back of sand and stuff. It can be weeks, months, 
but in essence you were just taking back all the sand and crap that you pumped into the well and it's allowing the well to clean up so you're getting oil but you're also getting all the water chemicals sand etc from a completion flowback will still have some time but again it's going to end over the coming months um, Flowback is a great money maker. If people need flowback, if they're not drilling and completing wells, they do not need flowback. So again, not looking good. Surface air drilling. Um, nobody is probably wanting to drill right now. This is a neat little deal when times are good because basically what it does is it allows a smaller rig to come in drill the surface casing so you can get everything case set all ready to go get out of the way and then the big rig comes in and handles the rest of the way it's a nice little niche biz, niche niche however you want to call it business but again drilling and completing is done so outside of a war between saudi arabia and iran Pro-Petro has no reason to go up long term and every reason to go down, guys. This is simply my opinion, but make no mistake, this company is going to be hurting for money very quickly. Um, I do not know even how much debt they have because it really doesn't matter. If they do not drill and complete wells, they don't make any money. So uh, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, I believe it was Jay that asked for this video. But uh, good luck, guys, on this. Have a good one.